Thank you for joining the Polka Dot Planner on YouTube. You can follow us on Etsy at www.thepolkadotplanner.com. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. So please follow our accounts. Today we're going to learn how to deal with our registration marks. We all hate them. They're very temperamental and we don't know what to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this. This is our um, sheet with our registration marks. You can change your orientation by going up top right here to this sheet with these two arrows and choose portrait or you can choose landscape either or. Now I will tell you most of the time I probably use portrait so I'll just show you this one first. When doing stickers put stuff in here you can put stuff here and you can put stuff here. <laughs> My advice is to avoid anything with the meshed areas. If it is anywhere near the meshed areas it is going to do one of a million things. One, your registration will fail. Two, um, your registration will fail. <laughs> Three, your registration will fail. It will not do right. Um, the fourth thing it will do is your cut lines will be off. So say you have a, a box and you have a box and you have a box and you have a box. Okay. So say you have a box and then you decide that you're going to cut it even though you have put this here and you uh, put this little box right up in here in the meshed area. Right. And then you took this box and you put it right up here. Okay, so even though this is how you have it, and this box is a little up and everything, if you print this, more likely than not, what will happen is your cut lines are going to look like this. So it's going to cut off. Does that make sense? So it'll just be almost right, but it'll be down. So instead of cutting the box perfectly, it'll cut down or it'll cut to the left or it'll cut right. So yeah, it cut, but it didn't cut right. And then you threw away a piece of paper and then you're mad and angry and everything. So my advice, <laughs> because registration marks are so temperamental, is to stay out of the mesh marks. If you're using a mat, which I do not use a mat 90% of the time, but if you are using a mat, you can go up here to the right hand side with these little four corners on this piece of paper and you can change all of this. Um, one second. If you're using a mat, go back to that screen and select mat right here. So depending on whether you have a portrait or a cameo. So you would select that and then a mat shows up. Nine times out of ten, if you go right back up here where we were, you can move all of your registration marks all the way out. So you see how much more room that gives you to be able to um, to work. So you can move this up, you can extend this up to here, you can move this down and out in Beverly Hills, um, and you can move this down. It gives you so much more space to work with. You can move this out. So you have all this space if you're using a mat. That's great. I still advise you not to go in the meshed areas because even with a mat, if you go in the meshed areas, your registration marks are probably going to fail. Now I do not use a mat, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn the mat off. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so no, no mat. So you see how much we're off. Um, then I'm going to go back up to where my registration marks are right here. The best that I do when my sheets always cut are these settings. I put it on 0 0.711, 0 0.711, and 0.711. And that's with a portrait. Okay, so you lose a lot, but 99 out of 100 times, it's going to print. I mean, it's going to register. So I put that all the way out as far as I can. I put it right here, put it right here. bring this in and this is pretty much your space where you're safe for registration marks. 
you can put, if you're making coffee cups or something like that, you can put all your coffee cups or your little things all up in here. Then you can put boxes and stuff, and then you can put more deco down here or little functional stuff or stand up your flags or something like that. But just stay outside of the meshed marks because those, they don't like anything to be in them. Like even a little bit, they get really temperamental. So I hope that this helps you understand registration marks and why you keep getting miscuts or ear or registration failed or whatever. It's very, very annoying. So um, just be sure to use one of those settings and stay within the bounds and stay outside of the meshed areas. That's not really that much space. And I mean, if you do it to where um, you cut multiple sheets, you can always do it to where you line your sheets up in this fashion and just avoid those areas. Sometimes if you just come down a little bit, you might be able to get this right here. Um, but I wouldn't go anywhere near this square for anything because it will fail. I hope this helps. Please um, refer me to other people. Let them know about my channel so that they can learn some. And thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.